Welcome back. In light of October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, the New Mexico Coalition Against D Domestic Violence is now collaborating with filmmaker Cassandra Rochelle Fetters on her short film called Breathe. Now, all funds raised during this private screening will be 100% donated to the Coalition Against Domestic Violence. That's in support of survivors and organizations fighting domestic violence. And we spoke with Cassandra about the film and how you can take part in that event. Joining us this morning, we have Cassandra Rochelle Fetters, an emerging New Mexico filmmaker. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm super excited to talk about the short film that, that you uh, created um, and, and the message behind it that uh, you really want New Mexicans to be able to, to take part in. So, so let's get right into it, Cassandra. Tell me uh, about the film Breathe. So Breathe is a short film that I wrote and directed and then uh, was filmed here in New Mexico. Uh, it's about a woman in an abusive marriage. Um, when it escalates to violence, she then has to make the decision whether to stay or to leave. And um, yeah, it's just a, a, a subject that I'm very passionate about. And that's why I chose to make a film about it. So, so tell me, where did you get your inspiration from when you created this movie, this film? Uh, so I am a survivor myself. Um, and so I, there was definitely um, this big urge in me to see my story uh, more accurately depicted in film. Um, there's a lot of um, like myths and, and, and um, illusions that aren't quite accurate to domestic violence. And so I really wanted to uh, highlight what it's really like for someone going through that. Okay, so, so also tell me about uh, who you partnered with. Um, so are you talking about the event? Right. Or, yes. Okay, so the event that we are holding is a private screening of the film, but it's also a fundraiser for the New Mexico Coalition Against Domestic Violence, which is a coalition here in New Mexico that takes care of all of the programs that uh, help victims of domestic violence here in New Mexico. So when you decided to, um, not only to do this film, to really uh, share your message and everything that you've been through, uh, it, you're, you're going one step further by also joining forces with another group that, that does help survivors of, of this type of abuse. Uh, tell me how important it was for you to, to collaborate on this. So um, it's extremely important to me. I want to give back to my community and because uh, they supported me in my film so much. Uh, part of our uh, funding was crowdfunding. And um, it was important for me to, to work with the New Mexico Coalition because um, they work mostly through grants. And there's a lot of things that they can't do to help survivors. Um, and so they need unrestricted funds. And so that's what these funds would be, is these are things that they can uh, provide for these, re uh, these programs that they wouldn't normally be able to get under grants. So, so, so let's get right to the heart of all this, is that we have this short film that you're able to um, watch for the first time um, in this private screening. If we don't, then we don't get to see it for a while, right? Yeah, it's going to be a while. After this, um, it's going to go on the festival circuit, and it could be like a year or so before we'll be able to make it public. Um, so, yeah, this is your chance. If you've been itching to watch it or are interested at all, this is this is the time. Okay, so, so tell us how we can um, get tickets and uh, what will be uh, happening right after with the raffle and the silent auction. Yeah, so uh, the best way to get tickets is to go through our event page. Either uh, you can go through Breathe uh, on Facebook or you can go through the New Mexico Coalition Against Domestic Violence on Facebook. And uh, with that link, it'll take you to the Eventbrite page where you register for the Zoom link. So this is all virtual. You can show up from anywhere um, and uh, it'll be October 23rd, uh, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And then um, after we have the screening of the film, we'll have a Q&A, and then we'll also be having a raffle and silent auction. For any of our viewers who may be in a situation where they feel that they can't get out of an abusive relationship, what would be your message to them? Uh, my message is always there is help available. Um, please reach out to any of the resources here in New Mexico. There's also a national hotline you can reach out to. Uh, if you're not in New Mexico, uh, there is always um, there's always help available, and uh, don't feel like you're stuck. 
Cassandra, true inspiration. One, I want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Um, two, we're going to have all the details on our website for people to, to tune in and to get to watch your short, short film. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me on. And again, for more information on this one-time event, you can head to the New Mexico Coalition Against Domestic Violence Facebook page. There you will find all the information. It's